Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript 30 days of lead code challenge. Today we are at the problem here group by which is of 2637. Now here we are going to discuss this problem. Let's uh, read it. Write a code that enhances all arrays such that you can call the array dot group by function method on any array and it will return a grouped version of the array. If you see the previous classes in that I just explained you how array dot prototype works. That means in the array, in the array you can enhance, you can extend uh, some functionalities. If, uh, if array is there, you can write it push function, you can write pop function, but similarly you can write some XYZ function if you want to add which you have to say array dot prototype and you can add whatever other things you like now the similarly they are asking you to add some function called array dot prototype dot group by which is equals to function fn and in this function they are asking it a grouped version of the key now you can read it here a grouped array is an object where each key is the output of function arr of i so if you passed ARR if you, if you passed some ARR of i ARR of i ARR of 0 ARR of 1 ARR of 2 array of 0 1 2 3 if if you pass that particular one that value will be the key each key that that value will be the key now uh, the value each value is an array containing all the items in the original array with that carry with that key oh that is very simple. Imagine here you have an array 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 3. Now, first, AR of 0, this 1 is one key value. That is what they are saying it in the first place. This is key. Okay, see, this is key value. And then what is the value of 1? 1, which is repeated one time and two times. Every time it got repeated, it will store it here in a new array, which will get 1, 1. Now you can check it here, the examples here, if you call a function here, now they are saying it an array contains id1, id1 and id2, three objects they are passing. Now this first object will become here whatever the id value is there, now this one will become the key value, that is perfect and whatever the values are there, these two values will be stored inside the array inside the array so like that it will repeat it for each and everything a grouped version which is having the keys now let's try it to to do this i'm going to use something called reduce method which will take it an accumulation now how this reduce method works basically any reduce method will take it two arguments one is accumulated value and one is the current value whatever the item you are receiving it now here I'm just taking it accumulated value and the current value in the first callback function. You can see I'm just doing a callback function. It will also take it in another parameter which is like empty value, the first initial value. The first value is object, empty object. So accumulated value initially empty object. Item value will be whatever the value in the array. You are passing array of 1, 2, 3. Imagine now item will be 1 and accumulated value is empty object now you didn't do any logic in future when you are doing it the logic every time the accumulated will be updated and item will bring one one value from the array now here i will just return it the accumulated anyway finally my answer will be in accumulated and let's check it first whatever the key value i like it i want to get the key value how do you get the key value if you pass if you pass the function the item and you will get the key value and once you get the key value once you get the key value just check it is this key value already existed is this key value already existed inside the accumulated array if the key value is already existed in the accumulated array you can say uh, you, you can actually push it for example already key value 1 is there so next time when you are getting it 1 if it is already there you will just push it into the array but what if it's not there I'm just checking it in a false condition what if it is not there then you will say it like if it is not there initially the key 
for that create an empty array first time i'm creating i'm just writing it here let's they go here see for this key value uh, key value i got it one this is id id i got it which is id value one now once i got it then i will check it like is the id one is there first time no it is not there the first time it will create the empty array for this so one empty array first will be created then after that after creating the empty array it has to push how it will do push so if it is first time or second time every time it has to push to do push here you will take accumulated a value of key is the array that is the array and in that array you will push it here the item whatever you got it the accumulated value the accumulated value with the key whatever the value you got it in the item you will push it into the array so just check it here which got accepted with the 60 milliseconds and just check it on with a simple example sir here now imagine here you are having an array of 1 2 3 1 3 5 and then 1 5 9 and I am passing it first one 1 2 3 I passed it to this function 1 2 3 each time item is a 1 2 3 now item is 1 2 3 I passed it and I got the key value 1 that is fine then immediately I will check it like is the accumulated array accumulated object accumulated is an empty object initially that does that object having any key value 1 no so I will create it something key value 1 and with the value empty array now immediately in this key value what do you want to push i want to push the first one one two three second one three five again it will repeat because reduce will work and this time reduce will go here uh, function and this function it will give key value again one then it is giving key value it will check it like previously is there any key value with the one yes this is already having it which you push it as one two three then it will check it like yes one two three uh, is pushed already it is there so it will not go to this if it will directly come and it will push it into the array which will repeat it again and again and at the end it will re uh, return the accumulated value so that's it it got the successfully uh, submitted to you can just check it on the reduce method if you want it in detail about reduce you can check it in our previous classes thank you all and we'll meet with a new problem